I always love when you're writing a song and halfway through, I'm always like, oh my God, this should be a duet. When we found out Gwen was gonna be part of it, we, our minds were blown because we're like, that couldn't have been a better scenario. Hey, I'm Ross Copperman, and I wrote Get Along for Kenny Chesney and Smoke for a Thousand Horses. But today, we're gonna talk about Nobody But You by Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani, because I wrote that. I wrote Nobody But You with Shane McAnally, Josh Osborne, and Tommy Lee James. Nobody But You, to me, is a pure and simple love song. And it's everything I love about songwriting and melodies. The day we wrote the song, I had made the track and the melody the night before. Every time I have a write with Shane or Josh or Tommy Lee, I have very high expectations. So I, I come in with like the aces up my sleeve. This song started with just me kind of on piano singing that melody. I don't want to live without you. I was just mumbling words and I was really excited to play them this. And so I played them the track and they were like, oh my gosh, we love that melody. Somebody said, what about nobody but you? And we just start singing, I don't want to live without you. I don't, the, the simple lines. It probably happened in like 38 minutes. The whole song, done. Everyone's firing off at a, at a million miles an hour. You just find where you fit in that room and you kind of just let it all happen, you know? And then it just comes together very quickly. It is hard to write a feel-good love song. To me, it's all about the beat. I don't wanna go down any other road now. The melody in the middle, that I don't wanna go down any other road now, I don't wanna love. That coming in the middle is just different. Like that just kind of comes out of nowhere and it's like, whoa, I'm super hyped up now. And then you add Gwen Stefani to it and it automatically feels fun. Just her being, being out of that song helps a lot. Wanna say it now, wanna make it clear. Wanna say it now, wanna make it clear for only you and God to hear. That's like, oh, I just die. Like, oh my gosh. I knew that it was something special. I felt good about it from the beginning. I, I still do. I, it's still one of my favorite melodies and songs I've ever been a part of. And I think Shane sent the song to Blake. And I feel like they were doing like a live TV thing and like 10 minutes before they like talked about it. When fell in love with it, their love is so new and you do, you, they really do genuinely love each other like crazy. And you feel it when they're singing this song together. You can just hear it in their voices and it's making them both sing it in a whole new way because they know they're singing it to each other. And I've heard Blake talk about it like that too. When the singers means it like that, you feel it, you know, it goes, goes right to your soul. I think people connect with the song just, just purely based on the fact that it's just a simple idea, just a little bit different enough to make it feel fresh. When you pair a simple idea to a, to a simple but memorable melody just makes you feel. That's what makes my favorite songs, and that's what we were able to do with Nobody But You. 